Hello, and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Dylan. And I'm Lucas. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The county has been paying special attention to its highways and byways lately. Last week, the Department of Public Works and Transportation resurfaced more than 32 miles of roadway. Even many non-main roads, such as the northern portions of St. Mary's, have been given attention with liquid asphalt. The county plans to do large amounts of work on the roads throughout summer, including on Route 235 starting July 5th. The commitment given to the re this revitalization project is no small feat either. Over $840,000 has been allocated for the 2020 fiscal budget for the road upkeep, and over $150,000 increase from last year's budget. Work is now underway to save All Saints Episcopal Church. All Saints Episcopal has stood in some form or another for 377 years but has not held a service since 2017 because of de de decaying wood and termite problems. However, this has not dissuaded Don Kropp and his team of builders from starting to rebuild the St. Mary's County's oldest wooden church as of three weeks ago. The small but devoted parish of All Saints has planned to pay around $400,000 for the renovation and rebuilding of the church. The structure will be rebuilt with new material, but the building is planned to still look the same. Kropp said this about the project. If anything should be saved, it should be that church. The College of Southern Maryland wants to make some additions to its Leonard Town campus. They want to purchase new outdoor exercise equipment and new pickleball courts for around $235,000. The fitness equipment is for ages 13 and up. It will include steps, benches, and bars. There will be five different stations that can be used for over 120 different exercises. This is part of the school's plan to promote more outdoor activity. In 1995, Misty Bruce began volunteering with the Red Cross. Recently, the Red Cross Greater Chesapeake Region named Bruce to serve as the Executive Director of the Southern Maryland Region. The previous director, Dr. Mark Plaster, stepped down from the position in April, but will remain on the area's Board of Directors. Bruce is a graduate of Liberty University in Virginia, where she studied psychology and military resilience. She also holds a professional facilitator certification and a Master of Resilience Training Certification. As Executive Director, Bruce will focus on recruiting local volunteers, managing the chapter's board of directors, managing relationships with local partners, and serving as the face of the Southern Maryland chapter. Recently, the St. Mary's County valedictorians have been named for the class of 2019. They've all worked hard throughout the last dozen years plus, and that's how they came out on top. From in-class behavior to extracurricular activities, they have worked hard to earn their spot. Tommy DeStefanis of Chopticon High, Caroline Schwarzenberg of Great Mills High, Tucker Protzman from the Great Mills STEM Academy, Allison Scott of Leonardtown High, Catherine Wynn of Riken High, and Sydney Parker of the King's Christian Academy have all been honored with this title. Three seniors of the Chopticon Braves softball team have had some of their hard work paid off recently, as they have been committed to play on the college and junior level. Maria Collar will head to Methodist University in North Carolina. Jordan Brown will attend the University of Lynchburg in Virginia. And Haley Hands is going to the College of Southern Maryland, a member of the Maryland Junior College Athletic Conference. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you today on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas. And I'm Dylan. Signing off. <laughs>